Red 2 standing by, all for loot and in the green, welcome back to Mario Party 5's Story Mode. We are just about to head off to Future Dream, where we will be chasing down mini Bowsers and protecting dreams of space with the help of Toad, who wasn't actually required last time. So he's just sort of there as luggage, maybe Toad's emergency food or something like that. Yoshi eats just about anything anyway, so if we wind up getting stranded, we can wind up eating Toad. I'm sure Peach won't mind if she has to get some better bodyguards along the way. I mean, Ma why doesn't she just hire Mario? Like, in all fairness. Oh wait, these two stu stooges are back, and they're still trying to pull off their nefarious plans. Yoshi again? Just try to stop me this time! Us! Try to stop us! You don't matter! Do you think you can stop me? No matter, I've got help! And they need help! I didn't think there were going to be any for a moment, it's like... Meet the powerful mini Bowsers and they just sort of disappear, it's like... Oh, great! So, the Mini Bowsers are back, looking like a really, really bad parody of Sentai heroes. Can we defeat his underlings two times in a row? Of course we can! So, welcome to space! This is what the space board looks like. It's been changed around quite a bit. We keep the central area, but... We actually have paths going through the middle, so it's not just straight rolling around. We will be able to go for the blue one first if we roll well enough. Decent dice roll. I think people can get bankrupted by board events too. Oh nice, hammer bro, so we can screw people over with that. And I get a red space. But it is, of course, time to duel. Can I drain the cash? So, it's quite possible that these ones will be a bit dumber at first and then get smarter. It wouldn't surprise me, because usually if there's one AI against the human players, that AI winds up getting a bit smarter even if they're supposed to be low level. There we are. If you play your cards right, you can really combo people. So, already off to a good start, even though I lose a few coins. So, we will eventually wind up getting to, fu getting to Future Dream at the time of recording. Story mode is a bit unusual. You do have to take it on in order to get Bowser Nightmare. So, it's a bit bland in some ways. It is a really nice touch that all of these schlubs wind up moving at the same time though. Wait, do we have a versus game? So they'll rack up a little bit of money. And... Yep, we have a versus game, so I can knock one of them out this turn. Radio. Let's see how I do on Flatiator. Curvy Curbs was a bit of a joke last time. So, 45 seconds I think it is to run over all these incompetent idiots. But as I said, I don't do very well trying to outwit stupid. Because there is eventually... ...sort of a point where they do something really dumb. The blue one is probably the be has probably been the biggest threat. Maybe the blue one is actually meant to be the smart one?
See, that's the problem. You're sort of forced to react on the ball. Oh, come on. Finish. It's kind of the problem. You, you sort of have to basically react on a dime. You've got to have very good reflexes. And I tend to be... I probably have good natural reflexes under certain circumstances, like if birds are trying to dive bomb me. I have a very good tendency to try and get out of the way of those, but I can also wind up sort of jolting my neck a bit. Well, I eliminated that one first off. So we've already got one murder under our belt. So. Let's just add insult to injury, shall we? And get a nine. Okay, so I've got eight spaces left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Happening space. Go up that way. One, two, three. Go through the middle. I've got a versus game and I can drain their coins a little bit more. If I go this way, I... Yeah, if I went that way, I think I'd land on my own hammer, bro, and that would be dumb. So, this is where Toad actually comes into play. Oh, ten coins! I'm not confident. Alright, so, clock stoppers. Push the hands of the clock to match the clock in the middle. The first team to do this three times or the most times at the end wins. So we can jump and we basically have to try and move opposite hands. So let's see if Toad will actually be meaningful or he'll screw me over. Push it around. They just sort of stood there. There we are! I think I clipped through the hand. Oh, Toad, you got in my way, buddy! Toad! Oh, thank heavens we actually won that one. But you can see that they're compl Sometimes they are absolutely useless. Finish. Don't know what those two were doing, but... Yeah, the worst part about playing with the AI on that one... Sometimes they will wind up pushing the same hand you are and not doing the intelligent thing, and you can't do anything about it. It's like, I'm focused on this task. Oh, wait, you idiot, stop helping me. And there we are, we're cleaning them out. We've got plenty of money too. If one of those schlubs lands on a versus space, we could end this in two turns. Oh, please go to the versus space. Come on, admittedly. Oh no, one of them is going to have one miserable coin. Oh no, wait, no. Toad was a thing. All right, submarathon. Race your submarine to the finish line. One character uses the lever while the other one rests. Whoever finishes first wins. L and R simultaneously accelerate. Y switch places. A blink eyes. So one character gets tired. Switch places with the other character. I don't think characters actually do get worn out. It's all to do with how much I can do. Radio. Wait, what? Oh, it's simultaneous. I 
think this is what they mean by getting tired. But I can cheat. And there we go, we've actually wiped them out already. Whew. That's a bit rough. I would argue that Toad was kind of a liability. So there we go. And we've wiped them out in two turns. That's a really good result. Kind of a short video though. If only that other mini Bowser, the green one, had actually been able to have his blue space register. That sucks. Not that I'm too fast about what happens to them. Bowser, I failed again! Never mind. I'm only gonna have you sent to jail for three weeks. Actually, no, make that three months. Three years. We still have a chance to fulfill our mission, though, because of course I'm going to keep relying on the same idiots who lose. Because I have been reading the James Bond villain playbook. Oh yeah, the wish thing. It's not over yet, Yoshi. I'll continue to comically bumble my way through everything. Suppose you're happy, huh, Yoshi? Ecstatic. Should I tell you about my dream? What about my dream? Shut up, you! Nobody cares about your dream. If you win the next one, I just might tell you. And there we are. As they try to give us the pointer finger, we celebrate a very quick result. Well, that wasn't too bad at all. So, we can quit out if we want to ha if we want to wind up uh, taking in a few other things. But we only have three more to go, so we might as well continue. See what happens with the next one. The fascinating dream of the universe continues, and many more great sci-fi stories can pop up. Hopefully some good Star Wars ones along the way. Or Star Trek. Or Serenity, Firefly, whatever you want. Bowser is still trying to ruin other dreams though. Let's press on. We are going to Sweet Dream. And once again, Toad bumbles along to help us out. I really wish we could have picked a better ally. So yeah, that's the reason Toad's not playable for some unfathomable concept, because he's our help. Granted, as far as help goes, Toad is probably beyond it, given they're all completely useless. And here are Pinky and Perky once again. Yoshi steps in to trouble him. It's Yoshi again! So, we meet again. But I won't battle you. You know, I really could just take you out right now. As a matter of fact, I could waste time monologuing while the sniper is training their rifle on you. If I was an intelligent villain. Instead, I'm going to make you battle the same two idiots. Same three idiots. Wait a minute, I forgot one of the idiots. That's how forgettable they are. They're idiots. My henchmen are idiots, but I'm still going to make you fight them. This is worse than the Cooper Brothers. Admittedly, the Cooper Brothers in the... Uh, but subtle differences. One's red, one's green, and one's blue. I presume the paint jobs you slapped on them have affected their brain. Bowser, your your underlings haven't wanted to be very capable, apart from a bit in the first episode. And even then I still won. 
So, the Sweet Dream Circuit. A little lap across these cakes. This one is a bit larger. Hmm. So where are these schlubs? Bit of a race to actually get to them because it's a bigger board. Oh well, let's rock and or roll. I don't think I've seen a Bowser space, but then again we must have to get a Bowser capsule. Cursed Mushroom, I don't want one of those. Donkey Kong is still here, we didn't get to see him. Alright, well let's start this off. Once again landed on a red space. Oh, Mary Poppings again. This is a good way to unlock mini games. It's just that we're not. I'd already played a few and got a few mini games. <sighs> there we are. I think that was the same opponent I killed when I played this game last time. That gets intense. So not much more to do but cruise around these circuits and probably have a bit of a preview. So yeah, really, we're basically just seeing previews of the boards in this particular mode. Ooh, mushroom. That could be good. So you do get smaller versions of each one. We will only see four of them and then we'll face Bowser, but... Uh, it's not a bad mode, all things considered. It can just be a bit of a drag sometimes. Because... Okay, warp pipe. Because it does take quite some time to get through things, and the basic gameplay is very much the same. Since it's so limited, it's really not anything special. What? Oh, does he go back to start? Oh no, Klepto takes him to a, an opponent's space. So I don't think he actually gets anything for landing on those. I don't want to use it on myself. There we are, put it at a junction just to be annoying. Cursed Mushrooms used to target other players. Hey! Ah! Oh, that's dirty pool! That's Dirty Paul. I'm owed 10 coins, thank you very much, game. That sucks. Do I duel both of them now, or do I pick one? I pick one of them. That really sucks. I should have 10 coins. Oh, Countdown Pound, okay. Now, I should note that you can actually wind up going a bit under. Like, if you're mi like minus something, at least I think you can anyway. There we are. Mm, that wasn't bad. I don't know exactly how long it takes to uh, launch the ground pound, but we got a very good result anyway. Maybe you do actually have to do it as close to zero as possible. It's the rocket one in uh, Mario Party 6 that you can go a little bit over. Well, at least we get coins. I 
don't want to use anything on myself because it's going to cost me. Jeez, the big dice rolls. Yeah, this board requires a bit of work because it's such... It's essentially such a large one. Comparatively speaking, it is perhaps the more challenging of the uh, story mode boards. And because of that size, it's going to be pretty difficult, all things to consider. All things considered. I'll take care of that. I really have to catch up with them. Or land on versus spaces. That's my own cursed mushroom. How ironic. We do have to wait for them to throw the capsule. Which is a bit of a bother, but hopefully they'll actually come after me. Or I'm not going to catch them. This could be kind of annoying. I hope they're going to pursue me because I really need to start some duels and knock down their coin scores. Well, this will be a good start. Yeah, some, some of these are really, really small and easy to chase up. Some of them are just... Massive. Revolving fire. This one should be easy for me. The single player tries to get the other three with a flame shooting gun or with lava waves. The other players try to dodge. A and A is make lava waves. L is spin counterclockwise and R is spin clockwise. So, let's see how I go. I killed all of them at once. You know, you'd really think Bowser's, Bowser's would be resistant to lava. You'd kind of think that they'd actually add a bit of immunity, or at least that Bowser would actually have gained some sort of immunity because of all the times he's, he's been dunked into the lava. You'd think. But you'd also be wrong. Alright, so that, that actually helps me out. Unless you really know that you're going to have a good time of things, don't use items on yourself. Unless you've got a good coin stash. One. Four. They actually are coming after me. Ooh, this could be a double play. So I can knock five coins out of M Bowser G if I win this. Oh. Not seeing a huge variety of games, but yeah, this does get a bit clunky after a while. So I just have to not get hemmed in. Alright. Oh, crumbs. Oh, that's not good. Uh... Oh, I'm, I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm alright. Oh yeah, running into the edges does actually kill you. See, so, yes, electricity is generally bad. At least to... At least when it comes to actually coming into contact with it. Depends on the situation though, because I think they've uh, shown that you can safely sit in a Tesla coil and shoot water pistols at it. So. It is time.
for the versus game. Let's see what we get this time. All right, come on. I could lose a lot of coins here. Quilt for speed. Okay. Should be all right, but we'll see what happens. We know how this one goes. All right, so I need to be very, very careful. I just want to go straight ahead most of the time. And then we go there, then I go this way. Finish! Absolute demolition. See, if you've got a good plan, because you really have to coordinate with the quilt for speed. If you don't have a good plan, you'll get stitched up easily. So there we are, I get 5 coins, and I get, well, 14, I get 14 coins in total, and G is bankrupted. There we are, another casual murder. It was around this time that the Mario games actually did start the trend of casual murder. Magic Cooper, exchange all cap, there's only... At least you actually mentioned that. It's strange that that one is meant called a Magic Hooper when it's actually a Toady. Toadies appeared in Yoshi's Island and Yoshi's Story, among other games. They're basically helpers of Kamek in a sense. All right. Why not just cut a slice and take the rest, really? So, I've been put just there, ready to duel one of the mini Bowsers if they run in. No, I'm chasing them. Now, I wonder if they're stupid enough to actually try and use the capsules on themselves. Like, can you actually use a capsule on yourself in this mode, if you will bankrupt yourself. I'm actually really curious about that. Like, I'd have to go in and fail on purpose. Yeah, they will wind up trying to take the shortest path to me. And I really need to get my skates on. I could use a mushroom. Ooh, good roll. Charge onwards, Valiant Yoshi. I'll have to see how many turns we have left. Ukiki doesn't do much for me. Rightio, we win this. Another mini Bowser is out, and it's blue annoying us again. Seriously. Oh, come on! Not the button mashing ones. I think I've got this. Looks like 322 is the best I can do. Finish. There we go! We sent another mini Bowser to its death by dropping it out of the sky. A 322 meter fall is going to hurt. Yes, as I was saying, it was around this time, around the GameCube era, that we had Super Mario Sunshine introducing probably one of the dumbest mechanics the series has had. The fact that Mario just gets casually murdered by the game for failing a minigame. It's like, you weren't as fast as this person, you die. Does Il Piantissimo, like, does he just bring a revolver with him so it's like every race, it's... 
Basically, you have to be as fast as me. If you're not as fast as me, I will blow your brains out. Maybe that's why the Piantas think he's a jerk. Yeah, I seriously wonder what is up with that. It's so stupid. It's immensely annoying. I think he's... Is that a cursed mushroom? Oh, it's a gold mushroom. Alright, I've just got to roll fairly well, which is always questionable. How many turns of inner is this? Alright, seven. If I win this, we've taken care of the game. But this jerk managed to stay alive so many times in Undersea Dream. Oh, this one requires a bit of strategy. Headway to pass the mini Bowser bomb back and forth until it explodes. Try not to be the one holding it when it goes off. You can throw to decrease the counter by one or two. The counter eventually disappears. This one is almost luck, almost entirely luck based. Nine. So it'll disappear about five or six. So. Six. If I throw for five. And then this should do it. Alright, he's got to be dead now. Yep, yeah, so it ticks down and then it throws. Finish. And the I like that little bit. And the camera stays tilted during your victory celebration. So basically, it ticks down and then you throw it, which creates a bit of a problem. Because if it hits zero in your hands, you're done. But there we are, we've completed this one. Not too bad. Another mini Bowser casually killed off. Just like poor old Mario, I still, at least they don't kill you when you're actually doing the uh, garbage dump mini games in Super Mario Galaxy, because that would suck. Well, Bowser's obviously mocking him for his failure. Yeah, Bowser, I'd be pissed off as well. I mean, that... You created him in your own image because it's not Bowser Jr., so it's clearly just like a miniature Bowser. Your clone is useless. Okay, Bowser's a lot nicer than I would be. Bowser has way more tolerance for failure. We probably would be. Oh well. We can actually wind up wrapping this up in one sitting. So I'll wind things up for this. I'll wind things up for this episode and then we'll move on to the last bit. Uh, I thought I did better than B. It must be based on the turns you've taken. Anyway, we can wind things up for now. Thank you very much for joining me. We'll be moving on to the last board of this mode and Bowser Nightmare, maybe, in the next one. Until then, this is Red 2, returning to base.